All right, YouTube. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about. I don't know if this is like reverse racism, or the Bikey case, and all this stuff. Where in the Reagan era, and, uh, people were saying that oh, this is reverse discrimination and all that stuff. I want to talk a little bit about the really harmful effect of racism a segregation upon white people. I mean, to be treated differently, you know, to treat somebody else different, that's gonna have a uh, ill effect, it's, it's, it's gonna reflect back on yourself. So, and that's really what's happening here in this country to the whites. I mean, the whites were brought here as slaves too majority of the whites were slaves but now since education has brainwashed these people into thinking that they were brought here uh, under some contract or something yeah the contract was well, you a slave you work hard for seven years I might let you uh, 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 off you know I might give you your freedom after seven years I might But white people, uh, you look at the number of suicides in this country. The majority of those people are whites. Whites is a, it's like real heavy, heavy suicide rates among white people here in this country. And I think it's it's the ill effects of segregation. I mean, you can't continue to inflict harm upon someone and not have, a, especially look at all the people that's in this country. And, and it's, it's constantly uh, trying to mainly affect a certain group of people. It's gonna affect the whole country and that's what's happening. It's, hap it's, it's mainly affecting, uh, heavily affecting white people. Segregation is. And white people are not embracing education per se as a tool to like better, better yourself, you know, psychologically and stuff like that. White people mainly try to use education as a tool for economic advancement. And now the economy has taken the nosedive. So now it's like you see a lot of homeless whites now. Um, a lot of whites lost their home. They lost their job. I mean, they're, they're really hurting now. So, education is not benefiting them. I think moving forward, whites should try to like be more, um, well, first like embrace education would be great. I mean, and, and try to look at other options of other means of uh, of achieving, uh, uh, I guess, greatness, you know, and try to use education to like better themselves, health-wise, uh, I guess, uh, uh, social, socially, you know, where you, they can like. Uh, 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 associate with different people and not necessarily be uh, I guess confined to a certain group of people that the, that's only going to benefit the, the elite I mean, racism segregation and all that stuff that's only going to benefit the elite as far as the majority of the whites in this country is not it's going to have, it's having an ill effect on the whole country. 
uh, most successful countries like Germany and, and, and they don't have that much uh, much um, I guess really a, a lot of problem but they do have some problem but it's not to the point where they having race riots every day uh, you know uh, people kill, killing up every, uh, shooting people in the uh, uh, at the job, you know, we have so many social problems in this country. It's not mainly just confined to like the ghetto, the black ghetto. It's confined to the whole area. We have a, it's a lot of ills that's that's um, in this country, and we need to start working on it instead of. Saying, oh, oh, it's them black folks over there. They're not working. Uh, they're going around. They're shooting people. I mean, it, it, the whole country is 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 uh, being affected by uh, segregation and racism. You're gonna have to. Everybody's gonna have to try to work together.